o'clock. It is now 5.16 and they're still in the store. So I will get back to you guys momentarily once we hit the next location. Bye. And, and um, relaxing. I probably got out of bed by 10. Um, she headed off to do some work at work. And my job, our building is open today, but I was tired, so I came over here and decided to spend some time with her and relax. Um, wanted to sit down with you guys and first of all say hey, hey, and trying to keep word to what I said for this new year, and that's what that I was going to try to push out more videos for 2016. Because I felt like I did like a kind of crappy job, which kind of tells why the success of my channel has not been what it could be. Because I don't push out a lot of videos. Um, but, like I mentioned in my last video, thanks to the video influencers, I'm going to work harder um, and do what I need to do to get a better outcome for YouTube. And just, you know, do what I can and do it better. Um... I wanted to sit down, like I said, you guys, um, say hey, which I've already said, but I wanted to sit down with you guys and get your comments and concerns about income tax. Like, what the f is going on? Like, last year was my first year filing myself because before that, I was disabled. My mom filed me. And then once I had Brianna, my mom filed Bree and gave me a certain amount. Um, we could go because that caused a big turmoil that year. Anywho, um, so I filed my first time by myself last year, and I did it at work. And one of my coworkers, hey, Miss Coon, um, sat down with me and said, "Hey, girl, you know I did my own TurboTax, so you tried." So I'm like, "Hey, yeah, I tried, and it was easy. I think." It was like a Superstar Friday at my job. That's when my principal is very, very nice and lets the kids wow out. You know, let them go in the cafeteria, play music, um, have dance. snacks, they get to dance, things like that. They really just have a genuinely good time. So it was a Superstar Friday and our um, the big office, which is the Board of Education downtown, sent the paycheck, sent the W-2s and it looked like paychecks. Um, but you know, we sat down and she went to her office and I sat at the front desk and we had put, I mean, it's very simple explanatory TurboTax, which is what I like. If you're a first timer, it just tells you, look at this box, this box, you know, box A, box B, box C, and then you just input the information. So as you're doing it, each step is calculating how much you'll get. By the time you're through, it might ask if you want to get deluxe. Um, but it is free. I saw a lot of comments on Facebook on under TurboTax that a lot of people say, well, they said it was free, but it's not. I don't know what y'all clicking on, but this is my second year, and I recently did mine. It was received on the 29th to the IRS. It was free. I have never paid anything. Nothing has ever came out of my money either for TurboTax. It's been genuinely free, but I have noticed that there is an option at the end if you want to, um, like save your return for the following year and that's what happened to me and I noticed that I thought that when I went in this year I could see how much I got last year so I kind of compare it but it wasn't saved it was it's almost like I I didn't set up a new account but I felt like I did but I didn't but uh, I didn't have the info from last year because I didn't buy that feature or they had like a benefit assistant benefit assist stuff like that so yeah you gonna pay if you have to um, if you get the, you know, the better package, you know, for more info. So, yeah, you're going to pay if that's the case. But, um, no, I didn't pay. So, when I see people make a comment, I'm like, mm, that's weird. But, anywho, I went on. And when I went on earlier, um, I go on the IRS website. And it's still in that first timeline, you know, part of the timeline that says received or accepted and it says you know your returns accepted on this date and you know, within a 21 I hope I got some light you guys within a 21 day timeline um or within those 21 days you should get your tax return so that kind of puts you on edge because what happens now 
is um, on the second, either the first or the second, the IRS, it was like this big thing is shut down. I mean, like, nothing was going in. And I couldn't comprehend it. Was it was it the people that was just doing it or was it the people that had already did like in January? And from what I'm understanding, it was from the people that are just doing it. Like February 1st, they filed. Theirs didn't go through. So it's like now it's like a backlog. Like they're trying to kick everybody's out. Everybody I talked to at work, and I think some of my parents might think I'm crazy, but they love me. I quit the say, girl, you got your ankle tax. And a lot of my parents would say, Yeah, Miss Rose, I got my ankle tax. Or a lot of them said, No, nah, I'm still waiting. You know, they said it'll be sometime next week. And of course, I asked them, When did you file? And a lot of the people that I talk to now that have either got it or haven't got it, the ones that have got it filed either the top part. They said they did it in December. I don't understand how they did it in December when they didn't start accepting to the 15th. So it's like, I guess they were just sitting there. And as soon as it opened up, the floodgates, you know, it just, I don't know. I don't get it. Anywho, um, a lot of my parents have said they haven't got theirs yet. And they filed near my time. Like I said, mine's within the 29th. So a lot of the parents I've talked to were before me. And I did notice that someone that um, got accepted on the 21st has received there so that kind of gives me a little better help better hope <laughs> that I'm going to get mine next week uh, like I stated before in the last video at least I think I stated it I am um, I have been invited out and I've I have been approved for a press pass for the Brother Brothers Hair Show which is held in Atlanta every February and August and I'm very amped. I really, really, really want to go. It'll be during our um, winter break, which is perfect. I won't miss any time from work. And I also wanted to have it that I would attend the hair show while Mom and Brie are back in the room. And then I could do something with Brianna the following day and we'll come back home. I really, 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 really want to go to this hair show. Um, but I don't want to go broke. Right now, if I was to go to the hair show, I would be broke. I could not afford the room. I could not afford to get products. I would be broke. That would be my check on the 15th, and that check is like utility check. And what I mean by that, you know, that's your power, that's cell phone. I would be broke. There are no answer for butts about it. It would not work out. So, I'm really praying, you guys, that ankle tax hits next week. Because if it does hit, it, it everything will work out. And I could do what I want to do and still have money saved up um, for my big move. Which, that would be another video. I'll explain that to you. But, um... Just kind of like I say, this ankle test thing has been really, really crazy, and I know it's got a lot of people upset, including myself, because you work so hard during the year, and now when it's time for you to get your payback, it's on hold. But when it comes to the IRS, if you owe them money, they want this shit quick. Like they don't want nothing holding, holding back on it. You know they'll start talking shit like you know we'll repossess, not repossess. They'll you know throw you in jail or they'll you know garnish your wages stuff like that but when it's time to get your money from you working hard it's bullshit and i think that's kind of fucked up and it's the american way i guess you could say it's just crazy to me but anywho um let's stay prayerful that i get my income tax this week if you're waiting and you did yours around the same time as me which would be in january i pray to god you get it next week um or at least the week of the 20th I hope you guys get it. If you are going to be attending the Brown Brothers Hair Show in Atlanta, you see me with this lovely camera in my hand. Stop and say hey to me. Please stop and say hey. And I make sure that you are highlighting and featured on the um, show. And, you know, I, I really, really, really look forward to all the great things God is doing. I have to, and I'm glad I just thought about it, guys. I have to write an article for, I'm going on behalf of the magazine. Um, that's the main reason. She Magazine. I wrote for them before. And I also have an article that I need to work on today. And I need to email it to um, the editor. But this um, article that I'm going to write today will be about children's hair. Um, most of you see Rihanna, her hair is a twist. And she's natural. There's no relaxer. And she probably won't get a relaxer until she's a preteen. And that's just because I want the, the, the best for her hair. While I still have control over it. You know, once she hits that teenage age, she might say, you know, I want my hair like this, this, and this. But until then, that's my head. She's just wearing it. So, I um, wanted to write an article about that because being a parent of an African-American little girl, hairstyles are 
you know, I see the cute stuff. I see the, the cornrows and the bees. And I like that, but I don't want too much attention. So I just want to write about the the ins and outs of, or the perks of having a relaxer versus natural and vice versa. And kind of get opinions from other mothers on what they do. I'm also planning a purse. And, um, I still haven't found out a name, you guys. I don't want to say purse and punch. Purse and something. But it'll be the party. And it'll be at Charm and Charles here in Macon. It'll be at the new mall, the shops at River Crossing. And we'll have, um, I'm thinking about doing it around Mother's Day. That's a great time for mothers and daughters to get together. Uh, and it's going to be uh, punch, um, cupcakes. Um, it'll be really, really nice. And the store will be shut down just for my guests. Um, all of my subscribers and you come in do some shopping you get some discounts and it's gonna be phenomenal if you guys have not seen um, Charma Charles if you haven't been in there they got some bomb ass purses and I even went to Target Target got some nice purses you guys and I'm a you know I'm a slight Michael Kors fanatic I like bags period it could be Michael Kors Aldo I went on Aldo's website they have nice purses like I said a Charma Charles have some nice purses um, Target has some nice purses, and it's kind of pushing me away from Michael Kors because a lot of their bags look like Michael Kors, but of course it's much, 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 much cheaper than what I would pay for Michael Kors purse. Um, at one time I was obsessed with Dunia and Burt, and it wasn't because of the D&B, it was just I like the look of the bag, and if I can get the look of the bag for much cheaper, A, I take it. And at one time, Ross has kind of went down, in my opinion, here making. But when Ross first opened, you could get a nice bag for like $20. And it'd be a nice purse. And of course, you have Just Fab. Um, JustFab.com offers you a lot of selection for handbags and things like that. But I have a lot of a lot of things I would like to do when I get my ankle tax. Of course, like I said, I have a big move coming, uh, which I will explain in another video. And I want to sign up for QC Makeup Academy. I reached out to them and kind of shared my story with them. And I'm still waiting for an answer. But I'm going to try to email. Today will be my email day. Email YouTube day. I'm going to email them and kind of ask them, you know, have you thought about it or anything like that. But I would really like to work with QC Makeup Academy. Um, I come from a cosmetology background. Went to cosmetology school and I graduated from cosmetology school. And I love hair and I will always love hair. But now since um, I've been sick and recovering and getting back on my feet, I have found a love for makeup. Uh, people always have stopped me with... Um, con concerns or um, comments about my eyebrows and I just caught on with that with YouTube but I, I really enjoy makeup I sometimes um, like I, I don't have internet at home a lot of times when I do come to my mom's house I plug in my uh, laptop and I watch YouTube instead of TV and um, like Jayla Corian she I love her she's a fresh college student she's a sweet I've never met her but she seems like she's a sweetheart and she has really broken down a lot. And of course, I always talk about Miss Lynn. Those two really put me on makeup game. And because of them, now I have this real strong desire to learn more. Uh, I'm a, a browner girl than them. So, I definitely want to look out for other young ladies that are my complexion or darker. Because, hey, we want to be beautiful too. And I want to learn the true concepts of makeup that I will look... Or I could bring out the true beauty of another woman, my complexion, and not make her look like a clown or make her look like a fool. You know, we want to be beautiful and presentable as well. So, I think my next route in life would be, of course, my social work degree and makeup. Um, only bad part with going to QC is that I there's no scholarship. You paying for this out of the pocket. So, I feel like once I get income tax, that's a great investment. That's the gift that we keep on giving once I get... Um, my credentials and established in the makeup game. Um, there are not many makeup artists here locally. We have Miss Emily Amos, who's oh, she does great work. She's local and she's a big inspiration for me, too. So, I think as black women, we need to learn that if you have another one woman that's trying to come up in the game as you, it's not that she's trying to take shine from you, it's something in you that she sees that she wants for herself. So, if we could learn whether it's hair, makeup, education, if we could learn to just accept one another and love one another just imagine how that would be you guys and we would actually give props to another woman for what she's done and ask for help I mean it could be someone standing right beside you that could help you get where you need to go and it wouldn't be any money out of their pocket and we're taking the clients off of their roster but we're not going to do that because that's just not that's not how it works which is sad but 
once I get on this makeup game, and if it's a young lady that comes on to me and say, hey, can you tell me what you did? I'm going to show them. That's just me because I would want the same thing. And unfortunately, I'm not getting that. But, you know, luckily I have God by my side and, you know, support a family. So I'm going to do it. I'm going. You only live once. I'm going to do it. And that's just it. But um, I'm going to, you know, showcase it the whole way, show you guys when I get the packages, show you how the classes are set up, things like that. I just really want you to kind of get an insight on how it works because this might be the motivation you need to go pursue something, whether it's makeup or anything else. But um, I'm really, really, really excited, like I said, about Brown Brothers. I'm kind of half and half because if I don't get the ankle tags, I'm not going to go. I can't. And I would just have to write an article and just, um, I'll be sad. I'm not going to lie. I would be sad because I really, really, really wanted to go and rub elbows with other um, media people. And I just, I'm just going to keep praying up and hope the ankle tax falls through. But if you're still waiting your ankle tax after this, um, after you view this and you submit around the same time as me, which would be like the week of the 21st um, or 21st and after, before February though. If you filed before February and you still have not got it, let me know. If you have filed before February and got it, let me know. Um, and we can kind of see what's going on, you guys. But I hope, you know, everything's going well with you guys. I hope you guys stay prosperous. And I pray to God that all of your dreams and desires are met. So, until the next video, I will see you again. I'm just going to chill around the house. Um, for a change, you guys, my hair is down. Most time it's up in a ball, but it's down for a change. And I'm just going to chill, straighten up, um, do some editing, um, work on some new YouTube things, thumbnails. And I will definitely keep you posted on the party um, that will be going on, like I said, at Charm and Charlie's. But I just thank God for all the blessings that he continues to give me. Um, this YouTube journey has not been easy. And at times, I really, really just want to throw in the towel. But because of various YouTubers, video influencers... It just keeps me motivated and to not throw in the towel because all those YouTubers that have those millions of followers, it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen over a year with some of them. It took time. So I'm going to stay in it and I hope you guys follow me along the way. If you have any comments, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to leave it down in the um, comment area. And please make sure you subscribe. It costs nothing and it will definitely be an inspiration for me to see that what I'm saying is worthwhile and someone is actually listening and if you have a YouTube channel you are a, a newbie as I say please let me know leave your channel info below and hey I got cut off <coughs> before but my last part of the video that I was doing I uh, was just saying that if you are a new youtuber um, and you kind of have not reached the success that you're trying to get like myself I want to start um, maybe on a Wednesday or Thursday. I would just have that one day that the show will talk about new YouTubers and what their channel is talking about. So that way we can network between one another and kind of get the message out and see if that works. I think if we help one another, the message to get across to, hey, we're trying. We're here too. We're not, you know, at a million or three million subscribers yet, but we're here. Give us a try too. So um, leave your channel information down below and I make sure that I'm going to uh, put them in a hat, the different channels, let Brianna pick four out, and we'll discuss those channels that day and actually um, show glimpses and pieces of that person's channel. So, once again, thank you, and like I said, if you're a new YouTuber, please, if you want to take that opportunity, I will be more than happy to do what I can, and hopefully it'll be vice versa. So, thank you once again, you guys enjoy your Saturday. Bye.